it's music time. Come join me. Hi, it's Mrs. T. Have you ever had something that you really like doing, but you don't feel very good at it? Or maybe you really want to do something, but you feel like everybody else is better at that thing than you. I know I've had that happen. Today, I'm going to read you a story about that very thing. This is one of my favorite books, Giraffes Can't Dance, and it's by Giles Andre, and it's illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. I hope you enjoy reading this story with me. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. <gasps> Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never been so sad before, so sad and so alone. Poor Gerald. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes, when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. Can you see his little fiddle there? How cute is that? So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started circling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, 
It's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head up and looked at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. Gerald found his own way of dancing. He danced to the music that he loved. And you know, that's true for all of us, whether it's dancing or singing or making music or making art or even reading different books. We all find things that we love and it's okay that we're unique. In fact, it's wonderful that we are unique. So I hope today you're finding something that you love and you're enjoying your day and I will see you next time. Bye. That's the end of our song. Boop.